Hey guys, Chef Guy Tellen here from Bono Harvest and today I have partnered with Marine Stewardship Council for two reasons. First and foremost is I'm going to teach you how to cook some amazing seafood recipes. I'm also going to teach you a whole bunch of hacks uh, and to excite you to buy beautiful seafood this summer, get barbecuing, get cooking and cook for the people you love. The second reason is I wanted to tell you about the MSC Marine Stewardship Council Blue Tick. When you're buying your seafood this summer, please, please, please buy sustainable seafood. Look for that blue tick. It means that the seafood that you are eating is caught sustainable and it is good for the environment, which is so important because we only have one ocean, we only have one world, and we need to do what we can to protect that. So today I'm gonna to cook with beautiful Western Australian lobster, sustainable Western Australian lobster. Here I'm gonna teach you two important tips in preparing a lobster for the barbecue. And the first tip is I'm gonna teach you how to split the lobster in half. The second tip is I'm gonna teach you how to just remove the tail from the lobster, making sure you get as much flesh out of it as possible. And like I said, these are really simple methods and I promise you once you learn these techniques, you will no longer be scared to cook lobster. I'm then going to show you a really delicious, quick and simple butter that you're going to cook that lobster with. It is a ginger, chili and coriander butter. So the first trick that I'm going to teach you in preparing your lobster for the barbecue and for this recipe is to cut it straight in half. So how to split a lobster and prepare it for a barbecue, okay? Place the tip of the knife on top of the lobster. You're then going to hold it quite firm and you're going to push the top of the knife straight down to the head, just like this. And then you're just going to close that off and cut straight through the head. Then you're gonna spin it around and do exactly the same thing for the tail. From there, you're gonna open up your beautiful lobster and it's split directly down the center, ready for the barbecue. So all you need to do is just grab a fork or a knife and just kind of remove and scrape out those entrails that follow down the back of the tail. And there you have it, a beautiful split lobster ready for the barbecue and ready for this recipe. This is my second tip, how to remove a lobster tail to make sure that you're getting as much flesh as possible. So you wanna grab yourself a long, sharp knife and you're just going to cut towards the head. So if you look at the head and the tail, there's a little joint in there. So what you wanna do is, Poke your knife in there, and you're gonna cut around that head. So putting the knife, point of the knife towards the eyes, and you're gonna cut around. And what you're doing is you're cutting around, loosening the muscle from the shell, so when we twist it, it just pops off and you get all of that beautiful flesh and you don't leave some of that in the head. So just cut around very carefully, make sure you cut away from yourself, and then grab the head and the tail, and you're just gonna gently twist and you'll see all of that tail pops off and all of that flesh is there ready for you to barbecue. So at this point, you can either cut the lobster tail in half, remove those entrails and add it to the barbecue, or you could cook that whole tail as one beautiful, delicious piece. For our lime, ginger, chili and coriander butter, we're gonna throw some soft butter into a bowl, some lime rind on top of it, some minced ginger, quite a generous amount, some sliced chilies, some coriander on top with some salt and pepper. I'm just gonna give that a good mix. On your prepared lobster, you're gonna grab a, uh, a spoon or a knife and you're gonna butter the flesh side of your lobster very, very generously. And there is our prepared lobster with my awesome ginger chili and lime butter ready for the barbecue. So let's take it outside and let's start barbecuing. The way I like to cook my lobster is from the shell side up on a low to medium heat. So I put it on the barbecue, low to medium heat, and I let that heat kind of come up from that shell side all the way to the top. And what you're looking for is your raw lobster will turn from being kind of a see-through opaque color to being like a soft white. All those juices, all of that butter falls back through the lobster and gets caught in the shell. And the shell itself ends up being like a flavor cup when you scoop it out, you get all of those beautiful juices. Sustainable Western Australian lobster that is marked with that beautiful uh, Marine Stewardship Council blue tip is that it's the highest quality lobster and seafood you can get. It's fresh, it's delicious. What I like to do is kind of pull it off early and let that residual heat 
kind of continue to cook that lobster as it comes off the barbecue. So low and slow here really is the secret. There you have it guys, a gorgeous Western Australian lobster that has been barbecued over coals, topped with a decadent and delicious coriander, lime and ginger butter. Do me a favor, this Christmas and this festive season, when you are shopping for your seafood and when you are barbecuing gorgeous seafood, please look for that blue tick. Make sure that it's certified MSC and make sure that you're doing the right thing for our environment and supporting our fishermen and fisherwomen who are doing the right thing. Have a fantastic Christmas. Peace out. Cook lots. Stay safe and I'll see you next video. Yee